Good afternoon on what is a bright, sunny but uh, chilly afternoon. It is um, Friday, October the 15th. I'm back in the Reed Nook with a nice hot cup of tea and a pile of parcels to go through, nearly all of which I have opened. Um, and the very last thing I'm going to look at is um, this. Now, uh, I have literally bought my way into this um, previously so and when I did I discovered I have a copy of Knave, uh, the old school fantasy RPG by Ben Milton um, and then uh, what else I have in here uh, let's pull this out I have oh um, a couple of postcards um, these are Knave character sheets I didn't see these earlier um, and an interesting little play card, um, basically thrown in. There we go. So, uh, what I've actually got is this. Uh, I don't know what it is. I can't remember what I ordered. What did I order from? Um, uh, I ordered Meat Grinder, uh, written by uh, Sigma Castell, um, and it's based on the Mothership sci fi role playing game. Um, and it's another, um, and it's it's for use with the Mothership sci-fi horror role-playing game. Now, if you've not seen uh, uh, Mothership, then you should really have a look at it. It's uh, an old-school Renaissance-style um, role-playing game, uh, which takes as its inspiration uh, the films Alien, uh, Aliens, um, for its horror and its aesthetic, uh, and also for films like um, Outland. And to an extent, um, uh, silent running for its other st aesthetics. So, one for the horror, but all, th all four uh, and other films for the blue collar uh, science fiction feel. Uh, and in blue collar science fiction, um, space is um, not all gleaming panels and, and, and blinking lights, and um, uh, people wandering around wearing plush, um, plush um, um, jumpsuits. Uh, they're wearing um, overalls and um, boots and um, their clothing, clothing is um, grimy and covered in oil uh, and uh, the finger, there's dirt underneath their fingernails and essentially space is somewhere to work. It's a working environment not an exploration. Um, uh, I mean, basically not exploration environment. So um, introduction to Meat Grinder. Uh, the gate hell opens. Private prisoner um, reformation company Preco wields an unholy artifact, breaching the walls of reality to a nightmare world of agony and smoldering brimstone. Hell's factories um, heave to consume the damned body and soul. This module contains mother, uh, uh, continues the mothership funnels scenario of the drain. Hell opened up by the Grail, waking, waiting in the commonly ship within wheels command module. Add a demonic portal anywhere in your game to run this adventure fully stand alone. So, what this is. Um, Okay, Mothership plus Doom? Uh, could, could it be that? But obviously with Mothership, it's more of one of survival rather than um, uh, blast them up horror. Um, it, um, so you have characters going through the pun funnel to um, essentially going through the portal into hell to blast the hell out of beasts and monsters and so on. And you can essentially, you can turn up the hell aspect um, uh, as much as you like or as little as you like. So we have the Essentially, the, there's the map of the area. It's a, lot, it's a little bit that is difficult to read. I have to be honest. Um, you know, uh, with the wound, the heart, and so on, the blood planes. Um, but uh, we have individual locations for the areas. So we have the old old tomb, the blood planes, and the harvest, all described in fairly short order. Um, and the pale forest and the angel. Again, in minimalist uh, content, but easy to read, and it's all accompanied by this really nice artwork, um, which, uh, and so on. Uh, I'll get down to the slough. And we've got a bestiary of things like the tick, the tape worm, the overseer, the butcher, and the nephilim, um, and, uh, and we have anti relics as well. gear that you can basically throw at your player characters or not um, and then uh, that's it really uh, so this is the damned edition it is um, 
178 of 300. Uh, so it's, this is like limited edition, but it's really nice production values. Um, it's very available from LFS OSR. Um, so, you know, um, nice cardboard with a marble effect, and then it's got the um, really nice stock paper. Uh, so again, this is, I would say this is more sort of a cross between a, a, um, a scenario and sort of like a toolkit sort of thing. Um, you know, really the sort of like you've got the GM to bring sort of like elements of the horror out of it uh, and the players reacting. Um, and it is, uh, yeah, basically if you wanted, I would suggest if you wanted to do the sort of like um, mother sheep, mo sorry, mother sheep. Um, hey, if somebody wants to write the mother sheep role playing game, go ahead. Um, the mothership. Uh, sci-fi horror role playing game meets Doom. Um, I think this would be a good choice um, uh, to at, uh, for you know all your horror and your action uh, and your survival. And if you basically just throw character after character just to see how many survive, um, in like a true good funnel. Uh, following up um, on on sort of like um, uh, the drain, which I've already done an unboxing of. Um, and at some point I will get to review. I've got a small pile of Mothership sci-fi horror titles to review, um, but that will be in the future. Um, I'll probably make a bit of a series for that. Um, or a weekend of it. So, you know, you can get your Mothership fix of reviews all in one go. Um, but yeah, that's uh, this is um, uh, Meat Grinder. Okay, so... Uh, if you have enjoyed this review, then please do hit the like button down below. Um, and of course, uh, if you've got any comments or feedback, I do appreciate you posting those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the Nook, uh, where you will see me uh, see me with a, um, a parcel and a book or game, which I can talk about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, um, less in this case, um, then please do hit that subscribe button. Um, at, uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm going to enjoy a nice hot cup of tea. And um, thank you once again for watching another unboxing of the look, and I'll be back again soon uh, with another one. Bye for now. <laughs>